three warning signs of a relapse. Let's talk about it. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Welcome back to the channel, guys. It's your boy Carlton here to ready to get you motivated on this journey of recovery. So without further ado, let's dive right off into this. Okay, guys, the very first thing that I want to give you is when you find yourself having increasing symptoms of anxiety and depression. This is a key that something's off. When you find yourself getting angry for the smallest thing, just having outbursts on people. If you find yourself feeling depressed, you know, you don't really want to do too much. You just want to kind of mope around and no motivation, you know, no enthusiasm and you're in your state of depression or you just got a lot of anxiety about a lot of things. You know, you're just, you're just anxious about a lot of things. Guys, this is a, uh, one of the first signs that <clears throat> we are headed for a relapse. And, and that's why we have to be very cognizant of our th of our feelings and our emotions, because a lot of times our feelings and our thoughts will tell us where we're going to be this time next week. If And that's why we got to be so uh, in tune with ourselves and how we're thinking and how we're feeling. So you find yourself just feeling anxious all the time and you're just mad for no reason. And, you, you know, you, or you find yourself depressed. That is addiction rearing its ugly head up, but we have to chop it off. That's why we have to know these things. That's the number one thing of, 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 of well, the th one of the three things that we're going to talk about as a warning sign. And you guys, you have to really pay attention to this. Why did I just go off on them? Or why am I so depressed? Or why am I feeling anxious? And begin to do a self-inventory of why that's happening. All right, guys, the second thing, romanticizing about the past drug use. That's a no-no, a big no-no. Do not do it. But a lot of times, you know, we're just sitting around with friends and stuff, and, you know, it, it, it can come up and we start romanticizing. Got to be very careful about that, guys. Sometimes we can just be sitting around and our mind will go back, the addict in us will go back, to the old times, the times of getting high and when it was fun. But one thing it doesn't do, it doesn't play that whole tape out. It doesn't show us, well, remember, yeah, but it started out okay, but look how it ended. You know, you were just, you were ready to go jump off a cliff somewhere, you know. So guys, we cannot romanticize. You can't sit around thinking about getting high because we will do it. That's a no-no right there. We cannot, as an addict, we cannot romanticize about getting high. And when you find yourself romanticizing about it, play that whole tape out and, and, and consciously make yourself go back and remember the, 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 the after effects of it, the, the facing the music, the, the lost all the money, because that will reel you back in. But if we just romanticize about it and who we got high with and how good it was and what we did, relapse is on the way. And we can't afford to romanticize about getting high. That will take us back right there and we will no longer be romanticizing about it. We will be actually out there in it. All right, guys. And the third thing, isolation. Not good for the addict. Not good at all. When you find yourself don't want to be bothered, if you're not going to meetings, you're not calling your sponsor, if you're not going to the whatever functions that were keeping you in the church, Bible studies, going around, uh, people of like mind, when you find yourself not doing that and you find yourself isolating, another big warning, because when an addict isolates, he's got time to think and, and, and he's not thinking about the right stuff. Because when you're around people, you're talking, you're engaging, so you're not so caught up in your thoughts. And then people can say things that kind of keep you on the path of recovery. But when we isolate, that's a big one right there. And I look back over my life and man, isolation, yeah, that one will do it. So guys, we can't afford to isolate. Now guys, with these three, uh, in increasing symptoms of anxiety and depression, anger outbursts. The second, 
romanticizing about getting high, and then the third, isolation. Guys, these are things that we have to be on the lookout for. And we ain't even talking about how we're thinking and who we're around, people, places, and things. That's also what we, we just have to be very cognizant of our thinking and where we are, our surroundings, and where we go. But we're talking about three signs, three warning signs of relapse. And let's go over them again, and I'm going to let you guys go. Increasing symptoms of anxiety and depression and being angry for no reason at all. The third, the second thing, romanticizing about past drug use. Can't do that. And the third thing, becoming socially isolated. Isolation is not good for us, guys. Amen. So, guys, I just wanted to make this quick video. Um, I hope, pray that this has blessed you. But, hey, guys, I know this video is short. But pay, but pay attention to these three things because relapse doesn't just happen all of a sudden. There's a process. And then we find ourselves in the midst of the relapse. Amen. So, hey, if you like this content, please subscribe. Give this, uh, give this video a thumbs up and please share this video. All right. You guys be blessed and I'll see you on the next one. Stay motivated, my friends.